Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Valkyrie Profile. We're on Chapter 6. Let's go ahead and see what new things that we can uh, um, spend our materialized points on. Okay, so... 100,000 for an Ori Halcon. Alright. Uh, we do want an Ori Halcon. We cannot afford that. Uh, we do need more of these, though. So we need to find another way to get an Ori Halcon. There's nothing else there. We've got a Scarlet Forge here. Sword. Uh, Blood Red Sword is imbued with the power of fire. It absorbs fire-based magic attacks and transfers DME to its wielder. Sounds pretty good. 230 uh, extra fire damage, all three attacks. Um, I think we're going to want to make one of these. At least. Uh, Holy Halberd, a spear blessed, blessed by the gods. It adds additional 20 CP when wielder's level increases. And again, uh, all three attacks. Holy damage plus 50%. Let's go ahead and make one of those. Violet Forge. Great sword whose blade flashes a brilliant violet. Raises special attack damage by 30%. Uh, just one attack. Does poison damage. So we will pass on that. Uh, absolute Force, a wand which is a power, which is supposed to be as, which is as powerful as its name detonates, uh, denotes, whatever. Uh, and that is 600. But I think we still have better stuff. Uh, Demon Blade, a sword said to have been used to attack demon, uh, used to battle demons. It reduces wield to special attack CT by one. It has a black blade with a red hilt. All three attacks, poison damage, uh, increased. Um... Not too bad. And Shiny Rupture, a bow which fires flashing arrows which carry tremendous destructive force. Again, all three attacks. We want one of those. Uh, Armor-wise, Valor Helm. A type of full helm. A mighty helm which is fit for the greatest of heroes. Uh, reduce damage 40, defend trust 4. Aerial Garland, hat named after the spirits of the air. Um, same basic thing, but it also reduces uh, poison damage. Valor Armor, beautifully crafted breastplate fit to be worn by the greatest of heroes. Reduce damage 800, defend trust 73. Div uh, Divinity Garb, battle armor containing the power of the gods. Uh, reduces lightning damage. Uh, defend trust, uh, reduce damage 1,000, and defend trust 90. That sounds pretty good. Uh, anointed Garland, hair adornment blessed by the gods. Reduce damage 16, defend trust 1. Anointed Garb, cloth garment purified by the power of the gods. Reduce damage 600, defend trust 30. Valor Gauntlet, finely crafted gauntlet suitable for a hero. Uh, reduce damage 40, defend trust 24. You know, I'm... And, and as a side note, I'm still using the gauntlets. <laughs> reduce damage 5, defend trust uh, 10. Yeah, and Greaves. Uh, Valor Greaves, uh, reduce damage 16, defend trust 1. Finely crafted leg armor suitable for a hero. Elven boots, light boots said to have been crafted by elves. Uh, reduce damage 20, and defend trust 2. So that is that stuff. Um, over here, we've got a uh, skull of Devone, or Devone. A skull ornament fashioned by a witch from the bones of an undead creature. It is said to impart knowledge of undead creatures. So you can get that, and you'll have uh, undead int. And that's uh, that's about it. All right. So we need to get an Aura Halcon. Um, So to start with, we want to equip uh, a creation gem, and then use item, transmute. All right. So we can transmute that to a bastard sword, a warhammer, rapid bow, breastplate. That can be a poison crystal, prime banish, combo potion, prime elixir, union plume, prime banish, ebony powder. Iron Ore becomes Energy Ring. So 
We're looking for something specific. I've got three golden eggs that I should uh, actually use. I should have some holy drops somewhere, right? Yeah, right there. Alright, I am looking for... something specific. It's not the Tome of Alchemy. What is it? one of these, is it? There's something that I can turn into an Ori Halcon. Ah, yes. Manual of Resurrection. So, we'll turn uh, the Manual of Resurrection into an Ori Halcon, and then we go find the Ori Halcon. Right there. Creation Jewel. There we go. Then, if we equip the Creation Jewel, get a whole lot of different things. Um... Now, having both of them equipped might be kind of goofy. I can get an Icicle Sword from the Book of Everlasting Life. Uh, triple Distress, False Arrow. So we'll want to get some of those things. Um, but more importantly, let's see, that is a Holy Gem. Don't care about that. see if it's uh, that. I thought it was one of these. Uh, maybe it's one of these? Alright, I'm going to have to look around. Uh, I thought there was something that I could uh, convert. And I might be forgetting exactly what it is. Might be the icicle sword. Maybe I need to. I might need to turn something into an icicle sword uh, in order to do it. Um, so I'm going to look at that in between episodes. But the point is, is that now we have a higher level creation item. Uh, we can get all kinds of new things out of that. Uh, some of which are very powerful. Um, but I'll go through that, uh, after we, you know, check out what, what new stuff is going to be, uh, uh, you know, what new characters and new dungeons we're going to have in this chapter. So let's get started on that right now. Please, I beg of you, sir, please keep this a secret. No! <laughs> I see, I see. That's how it is. How did you scam this one, my dear? Before the battle begins, Magnus will perform a rite of blessing to bolster the troops' morale. This will be our only chance. Letitia, back me up. If this goes any further, the order of knights will be... And we're going back to Krell Monferrain. So let's go ahead and do that first. Alright. In we go! Please, I beg of you, sir. I often thought there was something different about you, but I was fooled by your extraordinary skill with the sword. 
please keep this a secret. Well then, at the very least, I would like to know your true name and why you wish to join the knighthood. Yes, sir. Lately, I've been asto astonished at your progress, Jail. Thank you, sir. You're far more skilled than any of those men. Sir, you promised you wouldn't. Uh, <clears throat> whoops, sorry. You did that on purpose, silly. I apologize, sir. What's wrong? You are my captain. It is wrong of me to be so informal with you. Yeah, we should be more serious. Hmm. Now you're just playing with me. <laughs> it serves you right. <laughs> I cannot forgive Magnus. But we must have some kind of excuse. Recently we have been cleaning up the area around him. It is frustrating to be so close to him and yet unable to do... For now, all we can do is wait. I feel as if perhaps I'm just using you. If you weren't the leader of the knights, I would have paid you no mind. You must think me a deceitful woman. It's alright. I want you to stay with us. Before the battle begins, Magnus will perform a rite of blessing to bolster the troops' morale. This will be our only chance. Is it true that Magnus is a follower of some strange devil god? Yes, it is. But this will be the end of him. Will it, though? an interesting uh, battle pose you got there, Jail. What? An invisible wall blocks us. Well, that's an interesting summon. What? Why does my spell of bewitchment not work? Magnus, you! What have you done to them? Probably because it only works on men. That's my guess. You're one of Fawn's underlings. <laughs> I see, so that is why. What is the meaning of this? How is it that a woman has joined the Brotherhood of Knights? How wickedly clever of you, Fawn. A woman disguised as a man. I had thought you a stupid soldier, but now, now I see. Ah. I was actually not expecting her to have a portrait. Oh, how cute you are. However, you are a wicked, a wicked woman to use men. You use them, but it is only a way of hiding your true feelings. Ah, poor girl. You are unable to know what lies in your own heart. What? Be silent, monster. 
Oh, monster, you say? And I was only trying to express your true feelings for you. I was trying to be Cupid for your benefit. You... I swear, I will slice you in half. What? What? Battle Maiden Valkyrie! <laughs> what a foul Cupid you would make. Ah, Valkyrie, it has been ages. What was your armor light blue then, or was it black? I don't believe it was pale blue. Well, it's really all the same anyway. That is enough talk from you. The undead should remain ever silent. Come to me, dark warriors. Battle awaits us. No mercy. Maybe I should have equipped our new stuff. Genevieve is uh, a boss that we have to fight now. I was actually not expecting to fight a boss here at all. Oh well. <laughs> Eh, she's almost dead. Such ugly Not even <laughs> How dare you. I was also not expecting the counterattack to kill her. So, lesson learned. Uh, always equip the new stuff. Not that it makes much difference. Undead thing, return to the grave that spawned thee. Hmm. <laughs> I believe you should be more concerned about what is happening behind you. What the? Fawn, wake up! Please wake up! You have not the power to control me. Uh, uh. You should carry the burden of all of this on your fragile shoulders. We shall meet again, Lady Goddess. Uh. How did I... What's going on? Leticia, hold on! Thank goodness you're okay. I... I really... The way I feel about you... Don't die, hold on! Please... Please... I want you to win. Leticia. Magnus, you! And welcome to the party at jail. Right there. She is a warrior. Let's go ahead and take a look at her uh, status. Level 1. Hero value minus, starts out at uh, only minus 16. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Once she gets to level 8, she'll... Uh, well, level 9, she'll be positive already. Uh, Swordsman Knight, human, age 20, female, birthplace Garabellum. Uh, she's resistant to poison. Counterattack Gleam Charge, special attack, eternal raid. And she comes with no weapon. In order to join the knighthood, she disguised herself as a man. But what terrible secret would drive a gentlewoman to such an action? Perhaps she seeks revenge against someone within the knights. 
Well, I, I don't think that we're going to know anything about that yet. Uh, and my evaluation has bumped up to 65 now. So, yeah. Uh, Status-wise... My seal value is 28. Um, so with another... Well, no, I did not... That did not get reduced uh, for recruiting people. I thought it did. I mean, I know it, get, I, I know it gets reduced uh, a certain amount for recruiting certain people. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, looks like I'm not going to be uh, sending anyone up this chapter. We'll see how that works out. Alright, we've got the uh, Sunken Shrine there. And even though it's a bit early, I'm going to end this one uh, so that I can get uh, um, Jail's event in, in one episode kind of thing. And uh, in the next episode, we'll see who else we get. Um, there's always at least two people that you pick up per chapter. So, uh, And I don't know that anyone is, like, missable. I think you get everyone eventually. I could be wrong. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode. See you then.